This mushroom here is Amanita phylloides, otherwise known as the death cap. And what this new piece of science is suggesting is that the death cap's mushroom unusual sex life may be the key to its rapid spread. So this mushroom is showing up more and more in California and in British Columbia. And scientists think they might have discovered one of the reasons why that is the case. Now, first of all, why would we care if this mushroom is showing up all over the place? Is it an invasive species? What's really going on here? Well, Amanita phylloides is probably the most deadly mushroom in the world. It contains deadly amatoxins. It's responsible for most of the cases of mushrooms poisoning, serious mushroom poisonings and deaths from mushroom poisonings. And even though it doesn't look like much, um, it's pretty powerful. It can really like shut down your liver and do all sorts of horrible things. We did do an entire video on that. If you want to go check that out and learn about how this mushroom actually is poisonous to humans. But one of the reasons why people care is because when it's young in its egg form, it actually does look like a different mushroom, an edible mushroom known as a Volvariella vulvaceae, otherwise known as the paddy straw mushroom. So what happens is people might be walking through the woods to look down and say, hey, look, a paddy straw mushroom, take it home, you know, cook it up, maybe feed it to their whole family. Turns out it wasn't the paddy straw, it was actually this death cap mushroom, and that can be super bad. People get really sick and people die. So what this article is saying, without diving too deep into the science, is basically that this mushroom is able to mate with itself, obviating the need for a partner. So typically when mushrooms reproduce, they produce billions upon billions of spores. Each one of those spores contains half the genetic information required to form a mushroom. So really quickly, the mushroom life cycle, you know, each one of those spores will sporulate, produce something called hyphae, and those hyphae will grow. When two compatible hyphae meet, that will form mycelium, which can form a fruiting body and start the whole mushroom cycle over again. We did do a video on the mushroom life cycle to explain this, so you can go ahead and watch that if you want to learn a little more about that. But what this article is suggesting is that Amanita phylloides, for whatever reason, is able to produce a fruiting body from a single haploid uh, mycelium. So basically mycelium that is not two separate spores that are meeting and creating mycelium, but it's just one that is creating hyphae, creating its own mycelium and fruiting from there. So that goes a little deep into the science of how mushrooms grow. But again, basically it's saying that they have some kind of weird reproductive cycle that we don't really fully understand yet that is allowing them to grow a lot more prolifically and a lot faster than they usually would. So we might be seeing a lot more death caps in the future. This video was a clip from The Mushroom Show, which is the one place you need to be to stay on top of all the amazing things happening in the world of mushrooms. Click here to watch the full episode that this clip was taken from and be sure to subscribe to our channel to catch the next release.